This video covers PowerSDR 2.7.2 KE9NS Revision T6. So you can see you've got the uh, the tracker on right now, and I've got the DX cluster on. And I'm going to go over some of the changes we made from the last time. You've got this list now. Uh, I populate it with three of them, and then you can add more to the list down here uh, if you double click on there you can make changes and it'll save those changes the one that's green is the one it's gonna uh, spot you can click in this window here if it says test and goes back to spotting then it's still active in case you think it's not active uh, so you can choose one of, of up to ten that you can uh, spot and I fixed uh, the problems I had with excluding North American spotters the uh, the other thing I just added on oh, make sure you put your call sign in there still uh, and the port number is now the the URL address colon the port number all in one line now the thing I just added now is the memories to pan so uh, let me turn off the tracker just so it's a little easier to see now normally here's your memories and it's all shortwave ham radio whatever it's a big kind of cluster of uh, memories and you can still do the drag and drop hyperlinking uh, and file linking to any of these memories as before uh, and then a right click to um, a right click on on any of them to bring up the hyperlink but uh, what I've added now is you can Anywhere, if you select that memories to pan, then you get these blue lines here, which if if you have a memory that's in the pan adapter, it'll show up. In this case, EasyPal, just kind of an easy marker for particular frequencies of interest. That way you can clearly see, though there's, you know, it, that's where EasyPal normally takes place. Now, if I were to put the mouse over here, focus, power SDR, and hit the control it moves everything on the frequency that's the easy pal frequency and it sets up whatever mode that I had saved filters and so forth it sets everything up according to whatever was in the memory interface for that particular frequency now the other thing I've added too is if you see a frequency uh, of interest you, you you see this and you know it's a net and you like it Again, just get to that frequency, make sure power SDR is in focus, hit alternate and the M key, and then adds that now as a new spot in your memory. It just puts the word new spot under the group name, and then by default the name is the frequency. Uh, so that's now added. Now if you go back to the memory interface down at the bottom, that'll be the new spot. Now if you want, you can go in here and you know whatever this is a net and then you can go in and change the name whatever you want to do uh, that will save and then um, when that saves then that'll I gotta save it but uh, then that will refresh up up on the screen so basically you can see all your memories all over the different bands shortwave included it's all uh, Turn that off so that doesn't get too crazy but if I go into the shortwave band if I've got any uh, you know if I've got any memories just when I go by them they will show up the other thing I've added here now is the auto waterfall is now auto pan as well so if I left click that will automatically adjust the waterfall if I right click that automatically adjusts where the signal level is on the pan if I uh, if I left click over the center button now I can see that's the the gray line color for the tracker but now if I if I have the pan fill if I go into display and I have the pan fill turned on so that you see a fill underneath the pan then uh, I can actually change the color under the pan and also the intensity of that color now the other thing when I was going back to this is uh, you can now adjust the level of the auto 
of the automatic adjustment. If I go over to the zoom and I right click on that, <clears throat> I'm just going into the setup and display. It's just a shortcut. But now you see the automatic or the auto grid level and auto water level. So now when I move that slider, I'll actually move this up or down based on where I want it to be. If I want it to be a little higher there. So now when I do an auto, you know, right click on this, it's going to set it up a little bit higher than normal. Same thing for the intensity of the waterfall. I can adjust the intensity of the waterfall so that it's a little brighter by default or a little darker by default. So now when I left click, it'll be a little darker or a little lighter, whichever I prefer. So those are some of the features in the um, of the T6.